Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my video, and I'm very excited for this one, this new product. This is the KISS All-in-One Flight Controller, the Compact Control. And now this is meant for smaller 3 and 4 inch builds because this combines the popular KISS flight controller as well as four individual 16 amp ESCs all in one board. And I know some people are going to debate that is technically not an all in one because it doesn't have an OSD, it doesn't have a video transmitter and other bells and whistles, but I think I'll call it an all in one for the ESCs and flight controller. It's a pretty nice combo. Saves weight, saves room, saves time. Probably saves money too, as long as you don't break something. So this was sent to me from Prop City, and they are currently selling it for, I believe, uh, about $99, so under $100. So that's actually quite a bit cheaper than if you bought KISS ESCs and flight control. I believe the flight controller itself is about $40, $50. Then you add all the ESCs. Um, the, the 24 amps are 25 bucks each, so you're probably saving about $50 if you buy this package. However, this is not the 24 amp ESCs. These are 16 amp ESCs. So once again, meant for the three to four inch. And it even says on the website, you might be able to run five inch setups on this, but you're gonna have to be very careful about your motor and prop choice to keep the amps low because these are 16 amp ESCs continuous rated. However, they do have active current limiting at 21 amps. So that's why I chose a uh, three inch build for this. Because once again, four inch will probably be fine, but I just didn't want to push the limits and I didn't want to have my power actively limited. Say I was losing power on a four inch setup, so I went with three for this. The board itself comes with a very nice wiring diagram. This is actually really, really nice. High quality print, good color. Uh, pretty much every port labeled with what you want, all your pads, how to connect stuff up. Here's the um, the um, OSD, your Wi-Fi module, the Tramp, and uh, FreeSky XSR, your motors, everything. This is a really nice um, sheet, and I hope a lot of other companies follow suit because a wiring diagram like this is a lot easier than having to look it up online, especially with a product like this that even people who use KISS frequently because it's a new board for them, a new setup, you're not necessarily going to be very um, familiar with it. So if we take a look at the end pads themselves, you can see they have sort of the rounded out part here, and that's actually to stick your wire in on the end like that, and then solder it up, which is nice because that gives you a nice solid connection there. And this falls suit just like the uh, other, all the other KISS ESCs. These have these little, if you can see here, this pad here and right here and here and here they say jp1 those are jumpers if you can also see on the instructions you solder them together to switch the order so you don't have to do anything in the software to switch the motor direction now this board does take direct battery voltage obviously since it's the esc it supplies power to itself so it has a regulator in there um, it takes two to four s you can see the main input lipo leads um, lipo pad leads here and they are quite small probably fit about 16 gauge wire on there, maybe 14 gauge, depends on how you do it. Once again, definitely not any bigger than 14 because this is not meant for five inch setups. On the left side of the board here, we have the arrow pointing to the front, as well as these pads along here. The top one is for your receiver connection for say like an XSR. The middle, um, the one down from that is five volts ground and then the bottom one here that says TLR is telemetry for the FreeSky smart port. And then right below it this little button here is the um, uh, boot button if you need to flash the firmware on here which mine actually came with firmware that is not supported by the KISS um, GUI the configurator there so I'm gonna have to flash this very soon once I get that firmware downloaded. Right here below the uh, USB connection is the main board status LED as well as on the corners of all the ESCs there's an individual status LED for all the ESCs following suit once again to the other KISS ESCs in their lineup. Now you may be wondering where you're gonna power your video transmitter and camera from and if you look down at this port here um, once again labeled in the diagram it's not it's meant to have an external 5 volt source from like a PDB or something or just just a little Pololu however um, you are able to pull 5 volts from this pad um, one of these um, pins in this um, layout here however I did not get a connector included as well as it's only rated for one amp at 5 volts so probably even less than that so your video transmitter and camera you depending on what power level you're running in you might be um, stressing that and you definitely don't want to put any extra stress on this board it's a hundred dollar board so you know you don't want to break it if at all possible. So the way I'm going to get around that is by using a setup like this. This is the Rush VTX. I'll have a video coming on this very soon if it's not already out. But this can take full battery voltage um, and it does have filtering. So basically I'm just going to piggyback off the main input leads 
um, to do that there and then this provides its own 5 volts for the camera so you're going to need something similar to that if you're going to be using this without an external regulator. So yeah that was enough about the board so let's cut to when I have this in a quad and I've been flying it around and I'll just tell you my general experience with it. Once again this is my first KISS product so I'm not very experienced in the software but hopefully the rates and, and such are similar to Betaflight. But yeah let's cut to that. Alright, so here we are. You can see I have the KISS Compact Control installed into a little 3-inch quad here, and it has been a few weeks later, so I have been flying this around quite a bit and testing it out, and it has worked just fine for me. Um, I found that the default PID settings for the KISS software are like really close, really spot on for quad builds, so I haven't done any tuning on this guy, and it flies just fine so far. As for building it up, it installed super easy since it's an all one board. Literally all I had to do was put the motor wires on this side and over here and then uh, just solder in my receiver on the pads over there. I did mount it on these uh, little uh, sort of rubber soft mount bobbin things. You can see actually the whole stack's mounted. It, it can uh, move back and forth. Um, and I didn't have any problems with prop wash or anything. I was able to turn the gyro filtering all the way off and it worked just fine. It improved the prop wash handling quite a bit. My XT60, you can see just over here, I had to use, what was it, 16 gauge wire, I believe. You can't really fit any bigger than 16 gauge um, on there, but that's perfectly fine for a lighter build because since this has the 16 amp ESCs with current limiting at 21 amps, really this is only supposed to be on a 3 and 4 inch build. You might be able to get away with it on a 5 inch, but the 21 amp current limit, it's probably going to rob you of some power because it won't blow the ESCs because it'll just limit them down to 21 amps, but you might notice some power loss, which is why I chose for a 3 inch build here and even on some 4 inches you're not going to notice any decrease in power there so it's perfect for smaller setups like this. Didn't have any issues with durability, um, I've crashed this a ton, I mean I, it's just a flight control, I don't see how you can really break it, it's just um, right in there, protected pretty well. And now it doesn't have a built in OSD but I believe it does have the, the KISS telemetry on the ESCs so if you hook up an OSD, I do have a piggy OSD to put on the back of this camera here. I should be able to tap into, I think the RX2 pad it is, or something, one of those pads, the TX2 maybe, and get the KISS telemetry for an OSD on screen there. So that would be pretty interesting. I won't be showing any flight footage in this video here because I've already done a line of sight flight as well as some other videos that included DVR of this guy. There will be links down below to those videos if you want to check it out in flight. But it flies perfectly fine just as like any other flight controller pretty much. Um, between Betaflight and KISS really, I mean the KISS flew better stock but I always tune all my Betaflight quads and I honestly don't notice any difference between KISS and Betaflight so you might hate me for saying that but that's just my opinion. Overall it definitely is a nice board, a nice option for an all-in-one. It just saves a lot of time and a lot of weight in the building process so I definitely do recommend it. You just have to add your VTX then. It's the only thing it doesn't have and an OSD if you so prefer but there will be a link down below to Prop City. Thank you for sending this in. Please subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.